For those who are not keen on the traditional school of painting, let's investigate something not particularly new, but certainly revolutionary in its concept of art. This then is collage, and one of the foremost exponents of this art form, E.L.T. Messens. You'll see that Messens apparently doesn't believe in throwing anything away. Not that he's mean, far from it. But things like burnt-edged paper spills, bus tickets and cigarette cartons, for example, all have a special significance to collagists like this 55-year-old Belgian. Collage, by the way, is derived from the French verb coller, to stick. What is stuck, of course, varies with the artist to artist, from scrubbing brushes to milk bottle tops. Collage, in its original form of pasting coloured bits of paper to form pretty pictures, is not, as we've said, new, and was practised as a rather genteel art in the 19th century. However, the 20th century version is a different kettle of fish in every sense. Yes, fish have been used too. And the name Messens is synonymous with European dada and surrealism. This, by the way, is his conception of the sun. One could hardly be blamed for imagining he was about to eat it, but in fact that dash of pepper and this merest suspicion of seasoning from the salt cellar has no bearing on the appetite. It's merely added texture. At the Institute of Contemporary Art, an exhibition of collage certainly sets people thinking. E.L.T. Messens again. Its title, Valore Plastici, in English, plastic value, as obscure as its meaning. Stairway to Paradise by a collagist of the younger school, Gwitha Irwin, who's reported to make use of scraps of posters torn off hoardings, much to the consternation of the local police. Also by Irwin is Buttermilk Skies, the sort of effect you get when collagists apparently run out of litter, eh?